In this lesson, we will work with Crony service to manage our time synchronization. As Crony is not installed by default on CentOS, we'll have to install it. So we have to log in as root and install Crony service. Then start it and verify that it is running. So let's do it. Let's type yum install dash y Crony. Now let's type system ctl start Crony d and check the status of uh, this service with systemctl status cronyd. So we have to check whether the system already uses NTP to synchronize our system clock over the network. For this I will use the following command time date ctl pipe it to, to the grab command grab and we will be looking for the following string in uh, quotes NTP synchronized, quote, close. If we have no for NTP synchronized, we need to enable it using time date CTL set dash NTP yes. Now if we recheck the command with the requ request of synchronization, we will see that it is now synchronized in NTP. If we need to edit the chronic configuration file, we can do it with Vim if it is installed on the system or VI editor to edit chronic configuration file. So let's run VI slash etc slash chronic.conf. And in this file, you can add the lines which contain the links to your local NTP servers. If you need to obtain a list of local servers which are close geographically to your location, you could go to www.pool.ntp.org and find the servers which are closest to your location. When you add the servers, you can close, you could write, save the changes to the file and uh, exit the file. For this we use colon right and W sorry and Q letters, but I'll just quit with Q letter. If you need some more information on Vim editor, you can take a look at uh, the next section, which is about uh, how to work with Vim editor. When you save and close the file, you have to restart Crony service with system CTL restart Crony D. And of course, you can check the status of uh, the Crony D with system CTL status Crony D. To get even more information on the Crony D service, you could run Crony C tracking and check it with this command. And to check which sources your crony is using, you could run crony c sources. Now let's recap what we did during this lesson. As you remember, CentOS 7 operating system is always set, uh, set in time on every boot based on the hardware clock. And you need to synchronize this clock from reliable sources as your clock is uh, too inaccurate and uh, it could be outdated. For this we use Crony Daemon. Uh, its name is Crony D. It sets and maintains system time through a process of synchronization with some remote reliable NTP server. First we installed this daemon Crony service. Then we enabled the synchronization of the system time with some NTP server. We used time date CTL set dash NTP yes command. Then we edited the file, the configuration file of Crony. It is located in etc crony.conf with VI editor and uh, we added the servers which are geographically closest to your location. Then we restarted the service and 
learned how to check and monitor the configuration using the crony C command. By the way, this C letter in the end of crony service means uh, client, it stands for client. So we use tracking parameter with this crony C command, sorry. We also used sources parameter with this crony C program. By the way, if you need more information, you can always refer to man pages by typing man crony C and you'll get much more information on this command. And uh, of course, remember using date command to validate correct time synchronization.